Assalamu alaikum brothers, sisters and friends. Welcome to another episode of the GDM show. We're back with brother Hamza. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you brother? Good, how are you? Excellent. Very good. So today's topic is a very interesting topic and that is if you deny God, you claim you're an atheist, a naturalist, a materialist, whatever you want to call yourself, is there any real value to life in the absence of God? That's actually a very good question and I think many philosophers, atheists and theists alike have been discussing that topic. I like to address the topic with the following question, bro, and don't laugh at me, yeah, yeah. which is, what's the difference between you and a six foot chocolate bunny? Well, the first obvious difference is it's chocolate and I am not made of chocolate. Yes, but for some people, actually, that might be a big difference, bro, because I know that people love chocolate and they may yeah. not love you. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. We do love you. But the point here is... That's a good point. That's a very good point. From a point of your existence, does it have the same value or are you more valuable no, I, than a six foot chocolate bunny. I'm human, you know, I'm more complex than a chocolate rabbit. I have, I'm living, I'm alive, where the bunny is a dead piece of food. Okay, you're Muslim, so from an Islamic perspective, why are you more valuable than a chocolate bunny? Because God created us. He created us as a, a very, you know, a high form of creation. He gave us life, He gave us awareness, consciousness, rationality. He gave us the ability to understand His reality, worship Him. So we're profound from that perspective, we're special from that perspective. He gave us a ruh, a yeah. soul, a soul. Yep. and he's given us eternal life which is to come inshallah as well. Yes. Right? So there's so much to a human being which is not to a chocolate bunny or a rabbit from okay. that perspective. So you've grounded your own value from a theistic perspective which yes. makes total sense. Of course, that's my, that's my foundation. My okay, let me, let me just basically turn the tables, right? Is that alright? Yeah. Say you're an atheist now and I'm the Muslim. And I want to discuss with you, and I'm going to ask you a question. So, according to atheism, or mainstream atheism, or <coughs> a kind of popularized version of atheism, if you like, I know there's different types of atheism. Yes. You don't believe you have a soul, right? No. No I mean, soul. According to an if I was playing that, putting on the helmet, no soul. Just a rearrangement of atoms, molecules. I'm just an advanced form of a biological machine if you like or a being uh, according to some according to Sam Harris for example I don't even have any awareness or consciousness or it's an illusion that self that I it doesn't exist it's yeah it's, it's like a type a materialism for consciousness it's everything you're just like a zombie yeah. it's illusory okay that's interesting so Mr. Atheist how Mr. Atheist rather how are you different from a chocolate bunny concerning value well, like I said, I'm, I'm more complex I'm a complex biological machine whereas a chocolate bunny is a simple Arrangement so okay, so natural. why is there value in complexity? More goes into it, I guess. I don't know. But what? Who put into it? There's, not, there's nothing that there is no efficient that, cause. That, no, that, put that's anything that, into it. That's the point. Now, now, okay. Because this is my point. I'm trying to say, if if like most atheists are naturalists, not all of them, but most of them are naturalists, which they basically believe that this universe is all that there is that there is no supernatural, if there is something outside the universe, it doesn't affect the universe, and essentially, this is more specific to naturalism, yeah. that all phenomena can be described by physical processes, can be explained by physical processes. Yeah. So if these physical processes are just reduced to pieces of matter, yeah. and those pieces of matter are just reduced to more pieces of matter, if you like, which is, which is based on prior physical causes, yeah. then what makes you different from a chocolate okay. bunny? I see what you're saying. Because the chocolate bunny yeah. is just a rearrangement of that matter. A random rearrangement of so matter. So you are a rearrangement of matter. Yeah. The chocolate bunny is a rearrangement of matter. Yeah. So why is there any difference from a value perspective? Now you may argue, but I have feelings. I'm human. I feel pain. I have ideas. I have consciousness. Mm. But I'm sorry. That sentimentalism can't have a foot in the door under atheism because you are just based on prior random physical processes that, that called the next thing I was going to say yeah called non-rational blind yeah. physical processes so why does that make any difference let me just be a bit more crude bro yeah say i had a gun right here and i shot the 6 foot chocolate bunny boom and he is splattered all over the floor lots of chocolate pieces now right yeah what is that that is a rearrangement <laughs> of matter it's a mess yeah. it's a mess it's it's carbon here there and everywhere yeah now if I got the same gun and I put it to your head and I shot you and splattered your brains everywhere, technically, 
from an atheistic perspective, what difference is there? I don't want to hear, he's got pain because your pain is reduced to neurons, reduced to prior physical stuff. Yeah. Everything you're saying, your emotions, your feelings, your ah, gasp, yeah, everything is just reduced to prior physical stuff. So the re 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 rearrangement of the chocolate bunny is just a rearrangement of physical stuff. Yeah. And the rearrangement of you is just a rearrangement of physical stuff. So I'm, where's the value? I'm not saying that atheists don't have value. That's a yeah. stupid thing to say. Of course, we all do as human beings. That's what we believe in Islam. I'm just thinking the logical implications of atheism. You can't account for value. You can't account for value. Ultimate value. You could delude yourself and say, let's pretend to have value. Yeah. But if your consciousness, your awareness, your feelings, even the concept of value, even all your sentimental emotions, all of these things can still be reduced to random, cold, non-rational, non-conscious physical stuff, yeah. then what difference does it make? That's a sad reality. <laughs> it's very sad. No, that is I'm, sad. I really. feel sad right now. Yeah, I know I you feel like, sad, so bro. You made me really upset. <laughs> so, but the point I'm trying to say here is, and this is be rational, is obviously atheists don't follow through with the implications of atheism, and that's why I think to be a true atheist is very difficult. Yeah. That's why I because to follow through with the implications of atheism rationally, I think is depressive. It is, and I'm feeling depression right now to an extent. But it's sad and. The way I like to see is, and this is only with this value, as far as value is concerned. Take morality, take reason, take all of these things. Whenever atheists appeal to these things, they borrow from our worldview in some respects, right? Because it's only through God, through accepting this reality, that we can account for all of these things. Yes, you can, you can claim them, but you can't ever account for them. It's like uh, an analogy of, say you, you, you know how to drive a car, you drive a car, but you don't believe in engines. Mm. Right? Or you fly a plane, but you don't believe in engines or wings, right? This is this is the reality. This is what they're doing effectively, which is sad. And it's really sad from that perspective. Yeah, it's sad. So that's so, why I'm thinking, that's why I like to ask a question to, to, to my fellow brothers and sisters in humanity, my fellow atheists, and I ask them, okay, fine. Let's think about the rational implications of atheism. Yeah. If you do believe everything we feel and we say and we do, all the values that we have, the sentiments, the emotions... If all of these things can be reduced to non-rational, prior physical processes and causes, mm. then what value do we have? And why is that any different from a chocolate bunny? Yeah. Why? I, I don't get it. There's no, in reality, you said you use the term technical, but I would say in reality, there is no real value from that perspective. Okay, we've, we've, we've come down on a real low now. So is there any glimmer of hope? What would you say? Well, there is a glimmer of hope because intuitively, many people would be like, gasping thinking how dare they right obviously but like i'm an atheist i believe i have value of course you do and that's the beauty of it the beauty of many atheists not following through with the implications of atheism shows that there is a fitrah that there is innate disposition created by god to make you understand that there are some objective things that we believe in and we know regardless of our so-called man-made ideological and philosophical perspectives which is the value of life hmm. Our value, our importance, our significance. Do you see my point here? Yeah. And that kind of intuition, that pressing down upon us that, yes, human value is more important than a cold, non-rational, non-conscious chocolate bunny. Of course it is. Yeah. But then I ask them a question. How can you ground that feeling? That feeling can only be grounded in the existence of God, that God created us with this ultimate value, with this ultimate meaning mm -hmm. from that perspective. So that's why, I know this has been very conversational, but ask yourself that question. What difference is there between myself and a six-foot chocolate bunny? Ask yourself that question. And from an atheistic, naturalistic, physicalistic, materialistic point of view, it's all going to reduce itself down to prior physical causes. Yeah. 
And what value does that have? It's called random and blind. And that's the point. So when you add something that's called random and blind plus something that's called random and blind, all you're going to get is called random and blind. blind yeah. And that's the same thing that's made the chocolate bunny the same thing that's made you according to the atheistic worldview. Yeah. So the point here is, don't say to me, oh, but we, have, we could do math and we could do physics and art. Let's rewind the clock. It reduces itself still back to prior physical Nothing. causes. That's, that's, that's an eye-opener for me as well because I don't think many people think that deep. It's just a case of following like sheep, basically, your leaders. But I think, it's, I think this will get many people to think and to reflect. And especially atheists out there questioning or agnostic individuals out there questioning their lives and reality. And hopefully this will go make you guys think. Yeah, send, and, send us a comment. <laughs> Let us know what you feel. Yep. We're open to challenges and suggestions from the point of view that, oh, I think you got it wrong here. Maybe this is what we mean and this is what we're, this is what we're supposed to believe or whatever, right? Just give us, you know, have, let's have a conversation. But I, I still think, as far as what I've analyzed, is that under atheism, you and a chocolate bunny, no real difference. Yeah, and this reminds me of a verse from the Quran. I'm paraphrasing, correct me if I'm wrong, where Allah says that don't be like those who forget Allah. And Allah makes them forget themselves. Yes, that is a verse, yeah. And that's such a powerful, profound point that you just made. Just from the perspective of value, if you look at it from atheism, it just breaks down. But anyway, hopefully that's been food for thought for many people. Thank you for coming on the show. Zakala khair. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa